Watch Show, we want to introduce you to interesting people that are important to our LGBTQ plus community. Like this interview with one of my favorite people in the whole entire world, I am so happy that she finally agreed to be interviewed by me in bed. And she also hooked me up with all this betting. Here's TP Lords. Buenos dias. Good morning and welcome to the Faye What Show. And today I am joined by South Florida's club kid, number one club kid, T.P. Lures, a.k.a. Alex Velez. He is a popular entertainer, host, artist, and entrepreneur. We can rightfully call him a legendary mother of the House of Lords. T.P. started the art of female impersonation at the age of 16. That was only like four years ago. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. it, right? <laughs> And I mean, God, from working at Coliseum in charge of choreography and costume productions for over 10 years, and then a proud winner of many, many pageants like Miss Illusions, Miss Florida at Large, Miss Latina World, Ultimate Miami Drag Queen, and Miss Miami Beach Gay Pride. TP is passionate about accepting people with open arms and, and is actively working on generating awareness around LGBTQ plus laws within the community. TP, welcome to the Faye What Show. <laughs> I'm here. I'm so happy you finally made it, bitch. Thank you so much. Why I'm so, so excited busy? to be here. You got to pay the cable bill. Got to pay that. Got to pay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just took off cable. My cable was like $300. But like, what, what the hell? You're adding another 200 with subscriptions, right? Yes. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. So I just took cable out. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. I am like a Hulu bitch. I bought a paper antenna from Amazon. Like wow. some weird ass paper antenna. Paper. It gave me 150 other channels. Wow. So don't wreck it. Okay. I haven't watched regular TV in like over two years, I believe. Well, honey, when the fuck do you have time to watch regular Honestly. TV? Like you were always always working yes and i'm i i do i i am kind of busy and you know i'm kind of busy I, I'm, I'm very lucky i'm very fortunate to have yeah to be able to work as much as i do and be able to spread my art and continue to do it since for the past 26 years you know? 26 years wow when i was thinking about the story when i was thinking about interviewing you i was like well okay yeah so you know she's been around for like 20 years and i started doing the freaking math yes. of like yeah. You know, um, all voodoo late days mm -hmm. and South Beach days. And I was like, coño, it's more like 26 years. It's, it's actually been longer because, you know, I started doing balls first. Mm -hmm. I started walking balls and that's where I started learning my creativity and, and sharing my, my creativity with everyone and winning trophies. And uh, so that's where I started to get my confidence built. And then after that, uh, I went out to the club and... And there you got are. on stage. They played a song I liked, and I was one of them young queens that got on stage. And Gary Santis saw me. Yeah. Uh, and he Santis. was like, "You wanna, you wanna water?" Because I was obviously underage. Uh, and he was like, "Would you like to come back and work next week?" And I was like, "Sure." So I started working every Friday at the Saint. Oh my God! Which I drove right by. On the way here, <laughs> the way right? Here. It reminds you. It's not what, Karu, I really what's uh, called? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, yeah. you know, folks, you know, in the LGBTQ plus community, our drag queens, at least for me and for many of my friends, the, friends, the drag queens are our celebrities. They are our mm -hmm. stars, you know? They're the ones that inspire at me, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm inspired. Like, when I get dressed, when I do my makeup, I'm like, shit, I better blend. TP's going to tell me some <laughs> shit if I don't. You know, um, you know, who inspires you, TP? Um, I guess for me, it's different. I, for me, I guess other... Um, a lot of designers have inspired me, um, and of course, music is what truly runs my my creativity. Like, I can hear a song and get a vibe and get a feeling, and then I'm like, I could wear like something dark and mysterious, or something light and you know bright, and you know, and, and create these whole ideas. And most of the, most of the time, it happens while I'm in the car driving. Is it really? <laughs> it does. It does. I can put music on, and I'll just get into my realm while I'm on the road. And it's just like, sometimes I'll even like almost get emotional when I think of the ideas and how fierce it's going to be and how it's going to turn out. Oh my God. The drone, the thing I had, the hat that I made with the drone in the uh -huh. hat, that was like an idea that I had. And I was just like, I have to do it. And so you did it. it. Yeah. I yeah. ended up doing that was topping the disco ball that I had to spin in crazy. my head. Crazy! <laughs> You've got to see some of the crazy, crazy um, outfits, costumes, you know, that TP will put on uh, for a stage, and you can see that it comes all from that club kid mentality, yes. right? It's all inspired from that. Yeah. And then you take it to like another level. Yeah, I bring it to the future. You I totally guess. do. I bring it to 2020, 2023. But it's like, okay, you've been doing it for 26 years and you have always been the club kid on stage, but you always seem to have evolved and like have even brought it up, you've elevated. That's, yeah. Year, I mean, from, year to year to yeah. year to year. You ain't tired, bitch? No, no, I don't think I'm tired. And if I, get, and if I decide to retire, I probably will start my own production company and start, you know, 
getting girls trained and helping them get ready for pageants. Oh God, or, that would be so beautiful for know. the future. Yeah, I love yeah. that. If, if I'm not doing it for myself, some, trust me, somebody's going to be getting in drag. No, right? <laughs> for sure. Somebody's sure. going to be doing the work. Well, and that explains your name even more. So TP, when I first heard of TP, I thought it was TP, como toilet paper. Yes, right? yes. Or they thought like a TP. <laughs> like a TP. Like a T E E P E E. T yeah, no, it's TP as in total package, total which package. is what you are. Thank you. Thank I mean, you. It, it was a nickname that was given to me by my, my house family back in 90, because there were so many Alexes in our house. Uh, you know, Watcho Latinos. Yes, of course. So uh, there was Alexis Lords. Uh, I mean, big, you know, Father Alexis. Um, there was Perra Alex, and there was, what was the other Alex? There was Big Boy Alex, and then there was me. They were like, we got to give you a nickname or something. So I was always helping all the, the kids in the house with the productions and getting their costumes together and putting choreography together so they can walk the ball and, you know, win trophies. Uh, so they were like, you're like the total package. You do it all. And I was like... So they started saying, TP, you're TP. the TP, you're the TP. So then since then, it's stuck. It's stuck. No, but it really does encompass you, baby. Thank it you. really does. Thank you. Um, so, you know, you know, our community is under attack, mm -hmm. right? Um, and the ones that are most targeted are LGBTQ plus children and trans, mm -hmm. especially trans women, okay? Yeah. And there's a lot of educating that we need to do in our community and a lot of unlearning, okay? Yes. Like, for example, not all drag queens are trans. Right. And not Hopefully. all trans women are drag queens. Yes. And right? not all drag queens want to be women. And, and not all drag queens want to be women. Mm -hmm. Hence, your pronouns are he, him. When you are yes. out as Alex, you're you. Yes. I mean, if, you, if I'm wearing boobs and hip pads and I'm doing all that work to look like a woman, mm -hmm. and I'll be a she. But if I'm like this, you can call me he, you mm -hmm. can call me they, you can call me them, you can call me whatever you like. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But, you, but you're you know, also very androgynous. Stop yes, being. Yes, yes. You know, yes, like yes. you can really go between both worlds, you yes, know? Yeah. Do you find yourself having to educate people? Uh, not really educate people, but just give them a good experience when they meet me. Mm -hmm. Just let them know that, you know, it's not all what they think it is, what they see on TV or what they've learned from other people or what they've read or whatever they've seen on TikTok. Yeah. Because uh, that's another one. No, that's how everybody learns everything is TikTok. <laughs> Honestly, that's why I was up till five o'clock in the morning this morning. Do you go down those spirals on TikTok? Like this. <laughs> the next video, next video. And it's like, oh my God, the sun's coming out. I need to get to bed. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I, it's, I just give them, you know, a positive experience with what I do and that, you know, it's not what you read, it's not what you believed. And, and you know, if you have to, if, I've also corrected people when they see, you know, trans women and they call them, you know, him or something like that. And I'm just like, you know, she's a trans woman, you yeah. know. Give her use, respect. Use the correct pronouns. Use her and, right pronouns. Yeah, for sure. Um, drag 2000, drag 2023. Mm -hmm. Difference? Oh, yeah. Yes. Drag 2000 was looked frowned upon. They were thinking, you know, when I started doing drag, they were looking at you like, oh my God, you do drag? You're going to, you know, become a drug addict or you're going to be- Oh my God. It wow. Was, it, was, it was, yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you were going down a spiral. Like it was like- You're going to be using crack next. Uh, it was prostitution and drag queens. <laughs> oh my like, God. That's what it was looked at. As part. I felt when wow. I was coming up, you know, it was always frowned upon. Now it's a complete business. Like yeah. you can create merch, you can start your websites, you can go on tours, you know, you can do everything. Yeah. Thanks to true. RuPaul's Drag Race that made it so popular and uh, you know, it's to take a positive turn. But now there's drag queens everywhere. Now there's, yeah, it's, we're everywhere. Like roaches. I mean, they're born, they're, they're born, they're born every Halloween usually. But now <laughs> they're born like every every other week. I feel it's like there's new queens out there. Which I, I, if you haven't done drag before, I suggest you try it at least once. At least once. At least once, right? And if you're a woman, do drag. Just dress it up, glitter it. You know, yeah. make it fabulous, make it grand, make it over the top. And exactly. But live bitch, your don't fantasy. think just like doing some little bit of makeup, you're dragging it up. No, that baby. is not. No, drag is. <laughs> big drag is elevated you know um, yeah. i had to do a lip sync competition and misty eyes pounded mm -hmm. my face all right wow. i think she enjoyed it though like, that bitch <laughs> was like hitting my face my face hurt after but i look fucking flawless all right true, true. and that is how you need to bring it if you're gonna right. say that you're in drag do it legitimately um for stonewall pride like two thousand people came in drag yes. and it was not a quick drag it was, it was beauty done. it was done yes. you know um, and speaking of beauty and talent, you're the matriarch of the Lords family, the House yes. of Lords, legendary overall mother yeah. of the House of Lords. And whenever I see the name Lords after a performer, I know it's going to be good entertainment coming. All right. Yes. Jasmine is fucking sick. Yes. Like just sick. That right. bitch is getting like just sick. Yeah. Uh, Calypso, Coco, Sasha, anybody yeah. with a Lord's name after <laughs> it, right? You've yeah. got to plan. You, I, at least for me, as somebody, a spectator, I know a good entertainment is coming, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, 
Is that something you strive for in your family? Do you guys have weak Lord's people that we don't see? No, but there's also, there's also <laughs> no, definitely there's Lord's family members that are straight. There's Lord's family members that are grandparents already, uh, you know, because they've come from the old school. Uh, it's not about being LGBTQI. It's about you can be straight and be part of our house. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted just to create a family that just created uh, 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 support for, for kids coming up or people that just needed someone to be part of, somewhere to be part of a family. Uh, and the one thing that you will know if you do meet any other lords that we're all respectful of our community We're all respectful of people and that's what I I, I take pride in uh, When I get to what well, we choose who's gonna be in the house or when other members want to come in The one thing I do when I when they're going through the interview process, which is not really a formal interview process mm -hmm. It's just like hanging out with them and getting to see how they are um, That's one thing that I, I want from a person is to be a respectful person and just, you know what I'm saying, be, pray respect or give respect to people and then you'll be respectful and uh, re, you'll be respected and treated uh, great. The same way back. Yeah. Um, we were on a panel together a mm -hmm. couple months back where yeah. I was honored to be the moderator. Yes. Like that shit was, that was sick. Amazing. That was That crazy. was the first time I've ever done that actually. Really? Yeah, oh my God, you were time. so comfortable yeah. up there. It so we were fun. at the, um, you know, for the AIDS museum, um, we were up there and we had a panel of incredible um, drag queens and female impersonators. We had Tiffany Ariegas, we had Velvet Lenore, we had T.P. Lords, mm -hmm. we had Shasta McNasty, we had Daisy Dead Petals. Who am I forgetting? Who am I forgetting? Oh my God, whoever I'm forgetting, I'm so sorry. No, there's, don't, they're all, you got them all. I think I got them all, okay. You got, Tiffany, you said Tiffany. I said Tiffany, and then it was me, right? I was yes. just like gaga you over these amazing. women. Because listen, again, I look up to each and every person on that panel, you Thank have no you. idea. Thank I remember to this day, TP, when you said, hey Faye, one day at some event, I'm like, she knows my name! <laughs> I have arrived, bitch! <laughs> TP Lord knows my oh. fucking name, okay? So that is how oh, wow. we feel for you. Anyway, so we did this panel and um, I mentioned the Lord's family, mm -hmm. right? And somebody quickly was like, wait, 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 wait. There, there, there's a difference. There's a difference between um, uh, the Lord's family and a house and a house. What, what is the difference? I mean, there's difference because we don't know, well, we haven't participated in the ballroom in a long time. Okay. That's where we originated from. The House of Lords originated in the ballroom scene. Uh, and we've, we also participated, we've had a couple balls, like the last ball we had, I believe was 2021 or 2020, uh, that Alexis Lords, who was a jungle ball. Um, so we did, we did, we do throw balls here and there and have balls, but mostly we're just part of the community nowadays and, and everybody's busy active. Yeah. <laughs> and we have time for the balls, but if any of my kids did want to walk a ball, I'm definitely there for them and definitely to support them or Aww. help them with whatever they need, you know, I love that. cause it's, I knew what it did for me. So I'm there to support that. Yeah. And nowadays you can win money at balls. So yeah. it's become a lot bigger than it used to than be. And it used to be. Do you watch legendary? No, I haven't watched legendary. I haven't watched anything much. like that. No. You don't, bitch, don't watch any TV. I don't. I try to watch it. It takes me two hours to figure out what I'm going to watch. And by the time I finally put it on, five she minutes. she puts TikTok on. Forget it. <laughs> Forget Honestly, when she starts. Or turn it on and just turn the sound off and just be on TikTok <laughs> while it's just giving you lighting. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you ever had to throw throw anybody out of the House of Lords? Um, there's been a couple of people who have been chopped from the house. Really? What can yeah. get you chopped? What can get um, you kicked out? And, and what I believe is, you know, we want to accept everybody and love everybody for their flaws and all. So there's been, you know, issues with, you know, of the members. But I don't remember what was the person that, maybe the person that got thrown out. It, I think it was just starting drama in the house. It was somebody that was just starting with everybody and yeah. creating this this chaos between the house. So we're just like, you gotta, you gotta go. Hmm. You can't just, you know, or another one that was stealing. Oh, okay. No, that's stealing yeah. from the girls, There's stealing from the entertainers. So. Yeah. You don't do that. Do that from somebody else's house. You got the chop. You know, you're just better <laughs> off. Just ask. Just ask. Just ask. Just ask. You might be embarrassed, but just ask. It doesn't hurt me to, you know, give you money if you need something for food, course. if you need something. Or if you need to borrow something. But not every week either. Don't go no, crazy. No, tampoco. Así tampoco. <laughs> no, a mi favor. Um, you know, I love that. Like, I, I love to tell people that, like, you know, drag queens, like I said, you guys are our stars. You're our celebrities. You know, you're the ones who represent us, right? But you have issues just like the rest of us. Have yeah. you ever had a lash that just won't fucking go on? <laughs> a lash? No. <laughs> oh but, my God. You know, eyebrow situations with the eyebrows, <laughs> which I brought my eyebrows today. They're in 3D. Um, <laughs> um, but no, it's just, you know, th things happen, but you always got to be prepared. A I'm malfunction? Always, a closed I'm malfunction? I'm one of those entertainers that I'm always prepared. Like I have from safety pants, to sewing kits, to scissors, to 
you know, crazy glue to whatever I might need, I have it on me so that I'm not inconveniencing anybody or, in, uh, you know, I'm not inconvenienced. Because you've learned. Yeah. Because you've learned. Things yeah. like that have happened, They're right? Like, Ask TP. She got it all. She got it all. <laughs> totally packed. She got I'm it totally all. Packed. There was a show in Living Color years and years yes. ago, right? Where I think, I want I can't remember the girl's name right now. It wasn't Shanene, but whatever. She had everything that you needed in her bag. So, okay. like, you were trying to get away from her. Be like, oh, I forgot. I got to go get gas. Uh, no, boo-boo. I, I got you, boo-boo. Here's some gas. Don't worry. Oh, I forgot to do my taxes. Don't oh worry. My God. God. Here's your 1040. This... Like, she had everything in her bag. Oh, my God. Hysterical. That's hilarious. Hysterical. Well, we got to take that. I know, it's right? It's like, almost like Penelope, the one that does Penelope. She's like the step, the one step upper. <laughs> like, she's like, oh, I have a, a, a townhouse in Mykonos. Oh, yeah. My, <laughs> oh, my, my grandfather's the president of Mykonos. Of Mykonos, you know? Oh, and yeah. my great-grandfather named Mykonos because yeah. his name is Miko. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. And she's like, oh, we're... and then the other girl's like, realizes that she's doing that. So she's like, oh, no, we're going to the moon. Well, I have a, a, a condo on the moon. <laughs> like, I've like, already been there. I've already been there. We own property about? there. Like, Jeez. it's hilarious. Jeez. Yeah. Um, TP, do you get tired of people saying, oh, my God, you should be on RuPaul's Drag Race? <sighs> Come on, you lying. have to. It's a little right? annoying and obnoxious. Thank and like, you. I just say it's a gay lottery. Because that's what it is. It is. If you win, you win. If you get on, you get on. And if it's a good thing for you, it's a good thing for you. And you're lucky. Yeah. But it's also what you make of it as you get off the show. You have to, you know, be a person that's in. Look at Latrice. Latrice got out there, baby, and she hit the road and she got it going. And also, she was amazing on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, she, but she got out. She's a business. She had a hustle. And she knew what she was doing. And look, now she's doing her live shows and yeah. doing amazing. Yeah. So and representing us you, wonderfully, you, you know. got to be business savvy to get out of that and be able to handle it. And now every every season it feels like it gets worse and worse with the fans and stuff and the yeah. drama and the and social the media and the Twitter and the fighting and the beef Ugh. and the But do you do you apply? Uh, I applied seven times already. What? Seven yeah. times? Yeah. Okay, so let's let's unpack that. Now for <laughs> folks at home, right? Can but this just tells you what I've told you all along. When Athena Dion was sitting right here and we had this conversation, yeah. what did I tell you folks, right? I said it's a script. Yeah. They need to fit these people, all right? Yeah. This bitch is way too strong, <laughs> overpowering and everything to be fit into this box that they need of like a newcomer or someone that's an experience or someone that True. you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's just how that is. Yeah. Probably. And it's a lottery, like you said. It's yeah. like it's the freaking drag lottery. Drag lottery. You know? Yeah. Um and speaking of drag race so one of the ladies had said the other day that like for all her outfits she had spent like this crazy amount of money to go on rupaul's drag race okay uh -huh. what is your most expensive outfit what is my most expensive outfit i'm thinking i'm looking through my closet in my head right now uh i think a gown like an evening gown that i had made uh actually my first evening gown from florida continental when I first entered my very first pageant that Erica Norell sponsored me and she had her sponsors help me. Uh, and I, they, everybody thought I was too tiny to be in a, uh, it was a Florida Continental Plus pageant. Okay. And I, they thought I looked too skinny because Erica, she knows, you know, how to finagle, which the word she, she would use, finagle. Did she pad the fuck out of you? She, no, she, <laughs> she, she, she actually cinched me, but they did weigh me when I got there for the interview because you have to be 200 pounds or 220. Okay. I actually gained weight for that pageant. They gave me money. My sponsor gave me money to put it in Go food. eat. Go <laughs> eat. You have three months to gain like five pounds. That's what I think I needed to gain or something like that. And then during the interview, they weighed me. And then I entered the pageant. But Erica made me this corseted ball gown. So I looked tiny and then huge, you know, the bottom. It made me look skinnier. Okay. But I, that's the most expensive gown. It's from Leonardo, a uh, designer from Miami. And it was like over $1,000. Wow, and you yeah. wore that shit once. I wore it five or six Thank times. Thank you. Good. Because <laughs> like how you are, I would have thought that you would have turned that into like another outfit. I sure right? did. <laughs> I had it designed into another gown and wore it for Miss Florida. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I love that, but that's how you have to do it's it. It's called extending your wardrobe. Listen, listen. If, yeah, you know, because you have to wear things a couple times. It was $1,000, yeah. okay? You know how many shows you have to do for $1,000? Right. Shit. Right. Um, you were mentioning um, Erica, Norell, and, uh, you know, Daisy. Yes. Right, oh, and we, um, we grew up together. And we worked together. That's what I was gonna say. You've known them, and you've grown up for them. You've grown up with them. Um, you know, and you guys have survived. Like yeah. you should have. Like I survived the nineties. You know, <laughs> like some kind of shirts that you girls should have because. Oh my God, I did so many drugs with Daisy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like, I, I'm surprised that I could smell today. All I'm right, glad. let's just do that. I am dead. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. I'm sober now, bitch, but yeah. I was not for many you years. Know, when Akatia. Uh, Katya and Trixie have that show, and she said, when I die, I'm going to give my body to science. <laughs> and then Trixie goes, yeah, the question's not going to be, how did she die? It's going to be, how did she live? <laughs> 
no, no, it's the truth. It's but the yeah, truth. Daisy and I started together. Or Daisy would started before me, and Erica started before me. My Daisy, but though. yes, that bitch is crazy. Uh, but yeah, but we worked together since day one. Have we you ever fought? Together, Have you ever fought with them? Oh yeah, we've we've had it out here and there. Not I Eric love that and you're I, honest about that. Yeah, I mean because we, it's just conversation. It's just us getting mad, but we never like it never sticks. Like with Daisy or Erica, it never. I've never had like we've had like little tips little here and tips, there, but bullshit but, tips. Yeah, it doesn't stick. Like we'll get over it in five minutes and just chit chat again. Well, because I mean, you girls are friends, but I also know, like, in drag community, when it comes, like, yeah, you guys can be catty with each other and, like, you know, call each other out on shit. But if someone from the outside comes for one of your girls, all of a sudden it's like, it's, what? yeah, what? <laughs> right. right, right. It's this unity that, yeah. like, yeah, and nobody South else is has. Different. South Florida is a different, a different breed, I guess. I think it's because we have so many venues in different places we could, we work at. There's so many opportunities here in South Florida to perform at different venues that um we don't we sometimes we don't even see each other for months yeah you know? we see each other on social media nowadays yeah well everybody no no imagine no, everybody, so busy. everybody i'm like have i been alone all day because i've been talking to my head to myself <laughs> i've been busy so i didn't realize that i've been sitting at home just you know doing things and not even by myself no but even when and you're on out social media even when you're out you're yeah. out you're not doing one gig if you make sure you follow tp lords on all social media because if you yeah. go like every day i, I heard you god Thank it's only you. me and tp <laughs> I, I, t I told you she was coming. They're bowling. Oh, my Lord. Um, you know, it, it's, there's a couple of queens that, like, if I'm like, oh, I'm going to be in Wilton today. I wonder what to do. That I'll go look them up on social because yeah. they're always working. And that, you're one of them. Okay, yeah. where's TP today? For you know sure. what I mean? Like, yeah. she's always somewhere. And, and mostly I'll post the flyer every day that I'm working that, you know, that I, where I'm going to be. And, of course, you got to promote your, your, your job. Your job. It's yeah, no, but you do it so well, honey. And that's part of the job now. You on know what I mean? Another Thing that's added to yes, what you have to do. You become marketing and, and social, social media. media. No. Like, but okay, from my standpoint as a spectator, that's kind of fucked up, okay? That you're being hired by somebody, you've got to pay for your outfit. None of your outfits and your makeup and your shoes, shoes. and everything is less than three, four hundred bucks. Easy, right. easy, okay? And that's on the low side, okay? Yeah. Plus, you getting there, plus, you know, but then you also have to fill the space. Yes. Explain that to me. Well, they, they do like, I mean, promoting is what helps people get there, you know? And a lot of times we take the back burner because they have, you know, the Rue Girls that bring a bigger crowd. So if they got those girls, they fill the room, pay them, and that's it. So and we also get, you know, sometimes a, as a local entertainer and then not a Rue Girl or that, a, that's not that big on social media. I mean, I'm not huge on social media or, or didn't go viral for anything yet. Yet. But yeah, it's, it's, it's the business. I remember when your social media got hacked or taken over. By Instagram. Your Instagram. I was they like crying me. for her. Crying. They got me together. But I, I got it back. But they got, no, but Thank you got you. it back. They didn't give yeah. me mine back. No. Fuckers. I knew yeah. it. I knew it. They, they said, you want to be verified? Fill out this, blah, blah, blah. And that was and that. Que bueno. Got me right together. Que bueno. Um, I click the link. Teeps, <laughs> did, you, did you ever think, I mean, now that you've been doing this for over two decades, did you ever think that your career would be so political, would get so political? I never thought like it this? would turn so fast. Like, it, would just, it just became this, every, fab, drag is fabulous, 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 this, but then it just turns into, drag is bad for the kids, and da, 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 and this and that. And I'm like, where did it, who, and where, who came up with this story, and why, yeah. and, and, it, and everybody believes it. But everything that's not reading a Bible or doing, you know, your prayers is bad for the kids. It's bad for the kids. And we're trying to grow Poor kids. kids, you know? <laughs> I, I would hate to be a kid right? nowadays. No. I, or to have a kid. I would feel shit. so bad right. to be a parent right now. Right. Um, I, you know, I have seen you for a million events. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell mm -hmm. you the amount of times. I would have to say maybe more than five times that I have seen a kid just look at you like this. Like I love it. They're like, it's like a circus. <laughs> Right? <laughs> How can that be wrong, TP? I, for me, it, it was it's always been about giving confidence to the kids. When I was young, I didn't have that type of confidence. I was a very shy child. So I do really a very shy child. Like, you know, when you go to the grocery store, your mom will leave you to go grab something and you're sitting there at the register. That's like panic for me. Like you that would be move. like I would almost want to cry. And then if, you know, they start scanning the stuff and I'm looking at the lady like, please don't go so fast. Like, my mom's not here yet. Like, I'm going to hold up the line. The people are going to get... Uh, it, all these things are going through my Anxiety, yeah. Or if my mom would be like, go ask them what time it is. I would not be able to talk to a stranger. Wow. I was a very shy child. So it wasn't until like about 16, 14 or 15 that I started getting into my element. And when I finally came out of the closet, that's what brought me, you know, my confidence and stuff like that. Uh, my good friend Alexa, Alexa Infinity, 
uh, or ex an ex extravaganza. She um, she was the one who was the tough one in our school. So I was cool with her. And, and you've and known her since back then? Since high school. Wow. Since high school. When I went to my, my third high school, or second high school, we, the third one's in North Miami. Uh, but yeah, she was the, the, the tough one, so they knew not to mess with the gays, and then that's what brought me out and comfortable in my own show. Even though I was always been called gay since I was a kid, and I've always been very fashionable in school and always like... Mm. The club guess, kid, imagine yeah. this. And you know, back kid. in my days, we used to go to the thrift store, wear the bell bottoms and, you know, get the Jinko jeans and give all the fashions er, in, for those days. Mm. So I was always doing that, but I going to schools in the hood. Yeah. So they're looking at me like, who the hell? And why that? And you what know, you... Uh, and big curly hair and <laughs> bell bottoms and, you know, glasses and... I've arrived, bitch. What? Yeah. Call but me I, Alex. I did go to Miami High uh, for like two years and... They did have like a gay area and that's where all the like the hipster kids would be too so you know that was a little fun too mm. your mama i'm a big fan of your mama oh she's a sweetheart and i love your postings you know like people usually like postings about where they're going to be where they're going to party who they're hanging out with right one of the beautiful things about your post is that wherever you are with your mom if you're mm -hmm. you're getting a manicure you're going for lunch right you always post it there's so there's a picture of you walling out at the manor with all these lights right before and then right after you and your mama <laughs> you know what i mean yes, like yes, how yes. important is that support for you well it's it's you know, it, for a long time, she was just didn't want to know my business. You know, okay. she found that when I came out of the closet, she was like, she had this saying, "Ojos que no ven, corazón que no siente." Ugh. Eyes that don't see, hearts that don't ache. So I kept my business private. I kept, you know, so from the age of like sixteen, when she found out that I was gay, to when I was like twenty, so I would keep them like twenty-one. I was like distanced from my family. Like I would just call them here and there and just, you know, say hello. And they lived in Naples at the time. Uh, when her dad passed in 2001, she had to become an independent woman again. Mm. Uh, she was a housewife her whole life. Like, wow. You know, they were married 25 years. Uh, so for her um, to, to, to have to go through that and then just become this strong woman, I just thought that was so inspiring for me. Of course. And, you know, she. I remember when I was young that she would get anxiety, anxiety from going out in public because she was always home. She never went out. She was So one time we went to the mall and she started getting anxiety. She was like, I'm gonna go sit in the car. You guys go do what you need to do. But now she's this independent woman. Now she's in Puerto Rico right now having fun. En la isla <laughs> del encanto. Herself. Yeah, I'm a little jealous about that. But uh, so yeah, I'm so proud of her. And that, that's why we became closer when my dad passed and my brothers all moved. My brother, one of them's in Tampa. The other one's in Ohio. My sister's in Minnesota oh, and wow. I'm here with her. Oh, oh, and now your mom is here she's, in Miami. Yeah, she's, she moved over to the East Coast. Oh, again, I love back, that. You know, from, That's so important. Naples. Yeah. So she's in, in Hollywood, and I'm in Hollywood as well. Qué lindo. So I love that. That's why I get to see her and spend time with her. I love that. Hang on. I'm already making the planning in my mind to move her into my, my drag room and then move all the ah! drag out for her if Where she wants to. Where the hell's your drag going to go? How big is your drag room? <laughs> I have three rooms right now of drag. One's for my makeup and sewing and crafts. The other one's for my wigs and my shoulder pieces and belts and accessories. And then the other one's for my clothes, shoes, and headpieces. Uh, Three yeah. rooms. <laughs> yeah. Three rooms. Okay, I'm talking to my Cuban. Teresa, I'm talking to you, all right? <laughs> you know how mad you are that I turned your office into my dressing room? TP's got three, three. rooms. <laughs> Deserve Three. too. So we we'll just put your mom in one of them and she'll yeah, be good. Yeah, and the, the dressing room is a, in the back. It's like a Florida room. It has all windows around, so it's like the warmest room in the house. Because my house is at like let it snow, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it'll be cold for her. So that's a warmer room in the house. But I was thinking I could just move all my drag into one of the rooms or uh, into the living room. Have you ever put your mom in drag? No, but she's played around in my drag. I think I have a video of her putting it with that dress on. I think. And a wig oh, or something like that. She's always something like that. It's, it's so strange for me. Oh, she's worn this hat before oh. and you know, act crazy at the house. When she comes to my house, she like, you know, starts playing in it. Watch when she when you guys live together again, we're gonna see some videos or yeah, something of TP sure. and her mom. <laughs> um Teeps, what's the hardest part about being TP? Lords. The mm -hmm. hardest part about TP being TP is I always want to be the life of the party. I always want to be, you know, the fun, fun. And then it's exhausting when you're, you know, ah. Oh. Yeah. And when you're off, like you hear, it's like you go from all this screaming and all this partying and all this music and all this madness and people screaming for you. And then you go home and you're sitting there in the quiet and it's like your ears are almost ringing mm -hmm. because of all that energy. Yeah. And then you get home and it's like the silence. Crickets. Crickets. <laughs> Crickets. No, and I don't have a thing. pet. So, you know, you need my, a pet. I do, you I've travel been, a lot, but you I've need been a pet. I've been myself honey. for years. You need a pet. I've Nobody loves myself. you more than a pet. I had a dog for 15 years. And oh. I, I put him down in 2016. And that's tough. Uh, yeah. No, 2016, yeah. 2016. Okay, ya tiempo. 
Yeah, it's, it's been, been a seven while. years, dude. But then it's like, okay, I like my my freedom. Your freedom as well to be able to go out, and then you know that's another bill, and taking to the doggy daycare. You're you still know, single. Still single, like the dollar bill. Why? It's, do you want to be single? I do not want to be single. Who? Do, nobody wants to be no, single. No, okay. I, I mean, I'm comfortable being single. Okay. It's been so long. Uh, I mean, you have beneficios. You have friends yeah, with benefits around. Yeah, of course. Around. Everybody shops Everybody around. Everybody has everybody that. Everybody gets, a, yeah. But a none drive. of those. But <laughs> everybody gets a test drive. <laughs> I mean, you can't buy a car unless you drive it first, right? So you got to invest, you know. <laughs> um, and none of those people are, ca- are, are suitable just, candidates to be Mr. I, TP? I, nobody's shown me that. Okay. So I feel like if somebody wants to, at this point in my life, that I'm like, I've tried. I try to date people, try to be that person and take them out to dinner and make the night special and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, who's going to do that for me? Mm. And you deserve that. And I deserve it. And you do deserve yeah, that. Yeah. So until somebody gives me that, that, you know, window, I'll jump in. Okay. And when, and, and when the time is, or jump out and the time is, the time is, you yes, know? Yeah. Um, do you ever have any kind of identity crisis with TP mm-hmm. and Alex? Like, do you ever like come like forget that you're out of drag and you're like you know out on the street and somebody doesn't recognize you or something and you're like, yo, it's me. Like, I, I, you know, when I'm out of when I'm out of drag, I was just talking about it the other day with someone because who was that with Ebony? I believe my friend Ebony. Uh, she was. We were talking about it because we were like, when we're when I'm on, out of drag, I feel like I'm more timid. I'm more in the corner. I'm more like quiet or whatever. Uh, and if, if somebody says hello to me, I'm going to say hello. Even if I don't know them, if I don't, I'm just going to say hello because you never know how they know me or whatever. And they may mistake me for somebody else. Um, but I'm not really like that person. i be like, hi, I'm TP. It's me, TP. <laughs> I'm not that person. Like, I don't know. It's just it's me, it's awkward. Me. It's just awkward. Yeah. So. Uh, no, I get that. So if, I saw, if I've seen you out in the street and I haven't said hello, it's not because I, I, you know, I just don't know if you know me. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I'm not going to say hi until you say hi to me, so. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't, I mean, I'll say hi to everybody, but I just, I just don't, like, don't want to be that person and be like, hey, it's me, yeah, it's me, you remember me? Yeah. You know, so I just be embarrassed. I get it, I get it, but you shouldn't be. But <laughs> and I, I get understand. very easily embarrassed, too. Because you're yeah. still that little shy boy, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Very, yeah. But then this is like your. This is probably, what, and this brings me out, for sure. This makes me, like, totally confident. I can walk through a room and just be like. Yeah. Hi to everybody. Talk to everybody. But out of drag, it's more different. Mm. What What's the best part about being TP Lords? The best part about being me, about, about doing what I do, is sh- being able to share my craft, being able to share my art, and being accepted, and being able to um, be me on a pot of jelly cream. Just, mm-hmm. just share what I do, and, and people love it. And if it doesn't work out, then I won't do it again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, no, there's been those mistakes. And that's what I love. Uh, one of the many things that I love about you, Mamita, is just honestly that you take chances. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where you're like, but it's still you. That's what I was trying to say before. That like, you know, you can make it pretty. You can make it club kid. You can make it lights. You can make it all that shit. But at the end of it, it's still you. Yes. And Alex is still there. Like, yes. profoundly, yeah. Yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, How was COVID for you? Uh, COVID was... Fine for the first two weeks, three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> then I started to get cabin fever. So I said, I got to get out of here. So I decided to start doing sh- uh, shows in people's driveways. I love that. I did 40, I believe 45 birthdays, anniversaries. Uh, what was what else did I do? I think it was a gender reveal party. Uh, d- Baby everything. shower. I think you Baby did a shower. bunch of different ones. Yeah. yeah. Um, kids parties, whatever they needed to be to do. I would literally pull my car in, had a speaker in the trunk of my car. I had to plug in the converter for the speaker. I had a smoke machine. I had my spotlight assistant and, um, my sushi helped me for the very first ones. And then my friend Matt, uh, helped me in a couple and Victor Lords, uh, helped me, you know, at different events. Um, and yeah, so I would do that and stay social distance from the people. Oh my God. Perform in the street if I had to. Wait, perform but what in the a great idea, though, TP. Perform in the backyard. You know, and you also gave gave a little bit of money to, to some of your friends yes. also because those times were tough. Yes, like yes. when people were doing the drag shows from their house. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was just like, oh my God, how are the girls living that right was now? Horrible. You know? It was horrible. Trying to do shows for like live on Facebook or whatever and trying to change by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get that. Trying to get, that, to get the zipper. Like, where's the zipper, mother? In three ever? minutes. In three minutes. Because this bitch is doing a short song. No, and you know that you're out there with the zipper down. Oh, right. well, they're not going to see my back. I won't turn around. Who cares? Or, you know, because we were doing it where people were like double screening and then somebody would do a show and then we'd go and change. But you hear all. You hear. <laughs> clack, 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 clack. Okay, that's all there's the TP shoes. There's TP shoes. I die. Listen, I got to thank you for my new bedding. You love it, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's fluffy. So I, you know, I've been trying to get TP in bed for a while. And that statement, period. Okay. <laughs> and, um, and finally, when you, your, your schedule allowed for it, you're like, yes, but I got, I got, a, I got a present for you, Faye What? I'm going to redo your whole bed. And I'm like, <laughs> She's going to forget. Whatever. This bitch came with like bags of stuff to redo my whole bed. Full on, full on, and fluffy, it looks wonderful. pink comforter I love it. and the fluffy pillows. I didn't know if it was going to be too gay for you. <laughs> Do you really think I'm not that gay? No, I mean, I don't know. Do I come across as not gay? Do I come across as like a shy little straight girl? No. You don't come across as a shy anything. Okay, great. <laughs> great. Awesome. You know that people thought I was straight until like the other day? Like I've had people come up to me and be like, yeah. oh my God, I thought you were straight. You know, that is the biggest diss I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. How dare you? Theory. Anyway, so here at the Fade Watch Show, we play a couple of games, and one of the games that we're going to play today is first things, first thing that comes up. Whoop! All right. Okay. So I'll tell you something, and you tell me the first thing that comes to mind when I say it. Okay. Don't be scared. <laughs> like, shit. Okay. Okay. Like if I say black, what would you think? White. Okay, that's fine. There is no wrong answer, bitch. Okay, yeah, this yeah. ain't the SATs. <laughs> Don't worry, you are right. You get a perfect score from Fade One. No beige. I said beige. Beige, bitch. Beige. All right. Here we go. Michelle Obama. Oprah. I don't know. <laughs> but that's okay. I don't know why you would think of because Oprah. Because I just think of their interview. Okay. I think I watched go. it the other day. Oh, yeah. yes. That was a good interview. Yes. I love Michelle yeah. Obama. She's oh, got she's great amazing. arms. She's yes. got great arms. Uh, Fort Lauderdale. Uh, I don't know why I'm drawing blanks with this. Why am I drawing blanks with this? Let it go. Okay. Ufa. No mio horenge kyo. Okay. Let's try. So There. Fort Lauderdale. <sighs> Homosexuals. Netflix. Money. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. Uh, I can't think of anything with that one. J-Lo. That dress. Humidity. I'm dying. <laughs> right now. Kid Rock. Uh, Cheryl Crow. TikTok. Um, up all night. The, the progressive <laughs> flag. Uh, I can't think of anything. Lash glue. Lashes. Children. Gay. <laughs> Basketball. Football. Disney. Uh, porn. New York. <laughs> San Francisco. Abortions. Oh my God, babies. Crypto. Weed. <laughs> <laughs> I said crypto, not creepy, bitch. Uh <laughs> crypto. <laughs> and that's where I went. You said the first thing that came to my head. Oh, man, Crippy. They have some I think really it's good time for, in Miami. Something's uh, happened. Well, back when Crippy was Crippy, now it's like, you want to paint your room? You want to cut your grass? You want to do your homework? What do you want to do? <laughs> a strand for that. Which one would you like? Now and this one's called three. this. And this one's called this. Yes. And this is Skittles. And this is this. And it's that. Yeah. You want to meditate? I you want to masturbate? So we got you. <laughs> but what just happened? I just want to get high. What happened to that one? Can I, I mean, just get high? But no, you also, it's a it good thing because you know what you're getting. You know, you're, you know what's going to come from it. You know, that's true. You know, and you also you you smoke in the wrong stuff. You get anxiety, or you know, if I do sativa, I get like, <laughs> so I have to do like a, a hybrid. <laughs> I have to do like a hybrid, you know. Okay. Yeah. To so keep me calm and keep me chill. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, what is it? It's um indica and sativa. Indica, right? sativa. So indica, they tell you to think indica in the in the bed. In the couch. In the couch. Yes. Right. And sativa. It's <laughs> <laughs> in the couch. So, so now you know, okay? So Sativa's are like this. Sativa's and then the you're upper. Like, yeah. You're chilling. Oh my god. So goodness. then you get the hybrid, and then you get this the hybrid with uh Sativa dominant, which gives you a little You said you learned everything here little, on the Fay Watch Show. Now you even know how to go buy your <laughs> at the your dispensary. Drugs. At the dispensary with legally. a marijuana card legally. Okay, don't be coming for me. Don't, don't be play. coming. Don't be coming for me. Yeah. Uh TB, 26 years of drag. Okay. So do you retire at 40 years? Do you retire at 30 years? Do you? I love this idea about you starting your own business and yeah. or an organization where you're the one that sends out the drag queens and you get them ready and, yeah. and for pageantry and yeah. for whatever they want to do. Production, basically, you know? a production. Company. I love that. Yeah, I mean that's always been in my mind uh, as a retiring thing. But or, you're so freaking busy now. No, yeah, I can't. I can't. Um, they ask. They also wanted me to start a, a drag school. They were like, "Oh, you should do a drag school and teach people clean. You know, have classes of different courses." I'm like, "That's something I need to do to retire. If I'm not gonna be able to put my whole foot in it, if I'm not gonna be able to put my time into it, I'm not gonna do a whole drag." Yeah, school, but you know? people will love that, oh, yeah. and people will pay for it. When I was a kid, there was a stupid modeling thing called uh, Ca Casablanca or Casablanca's some shit. Ca the yeah. ugliest people would be thinking <laughs> they're gonna be models. The ugliest. I'd be like, "Girl, really? You think I'm gonna go to Casablanca? They, they're gonna do they, my makeup? I'm like, bitch, you lost that money." Walk. 
You lost that money. As long as I can walk, as I can As long be as I can model. walk. No, no, not true. You should do that. You should yeah, do that. Sure. So you know that um, with my name, everybody says, Faye, what? So I need for you to look into that camera and do your best, Faye, what? Faye, what? Ooh, that was good. Do it one more time. Faye, what? Yeah! I love it. TP Lords on the Faye What Show. Thank you so much uh, for being thank with you me. So much for having I love me. you so it's much. Such a like you mean so much to me. Uh, thank you. Keep so much. shining and doing what you're doing. Okay. And Don't you let too. anybody, anybody, thank anybody you. tear you down. And if anybody's coming for you, call me. Oh, we okay. Because people don't expect, you know, for me to like, you know, leave people with like four flat tires no. and like <laughs> throw some shit in their drink. People don't expect that from me. But this is Jersey, bitch. I got to. I got to. No, okay? for sure. For I love sure, you so much. I love you so much. All right. Make sure you follow TP Lords on all social media. She is doing things she is running this town all right if you want to go find an awesome show wherever she's at or anybody from the lord's family you will be entertained all right we will be right back so did you enjoy the show i know you did so make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events news or interviews right here on the Faye what show ring the bell at the bottom of the screen right there so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.